What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the upcoming Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Beluga 2.0 colorway. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But with all that being said, let's get into it. Really quick, I want to give a huge shout out to JNM Sneakers for holding it down with this pair of Yeezys. Links to their Instagram will be in the description below. And I also want to thank Edwin. You guys have seen him in the vlogs before. He's the one who hooked me up with JNM Sneakers, so make sure to give his channel a sub in the description below. This year has been a great year for you if you've been trying to grab a pair of Yeezy Boost 350s. There's been so many releases and the resale isn't too bad. Honestly, I feel like a lot of us are starting to have Yeezy fatigue and that's just the nature of the game. When you release a lot of sneakers, you're gonna start getting sick of them. Not to say that Yeezy Boost 350 V2s aren't great shoes, but when Adidas starts dropping weird colorways like neon yellow and brown, I, I don't know, I just feel like it's not my thing. But it looks like Kanye is trying to make good on his promise so that everyone who wants Yeezys can get a pair of Yeezys. As I mentioned, a lot of pairs have already dropped and there's still a couple pairs coming up throughout the rest of the year. And not only that, on the Beluga 2.0, it looks like Adidas has ramped up production and there's gonna be a lot more pairs available. So without further ado, here they are, the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Beluga 2.0 colorway. I'm really stoked that Adidas decided to bring back a gray colorway of the 350 Boost V2. I feel like it's a super versatile color and I think it looks really good. Starting off the shoe with the upper, you've got your very familiar one-piece prime knit construction. The prime knit is essentially identical to all the other V2s. On this colorway, a majority of the upper is covered in this light gray base. You've got that same sort of zebra prime knit pattern that you've had on other V2s, this time in a darker gray. The two tones of gray play off each other really nicely and create a very nice contrast. The pattern is is definitely very busy, but it's not too busy to where it gets distracting. Other than the differences in the shades of gray that they used on the previous Beluga versus this Beluga 2.0, there aren't any orange speckles on the prime knit like you had on the previous Belugas, which I think is nice because it really simplifies the shoe. I mean, as simple as a zebra swirl pattern can get. Of course, like all the other 350s before, you've got the stitching running from the toe to the top of the tongue. The stitching is in a slightly lighter shade of gray than the rest of the upper. Moving back in the shoe, you get the two signature Yeezy stripes, this time in one shade of gray. Of course, you've got the SPLY 350 in this bright orange. When I first saw the original Belugas with that bright orange stripe along the side, I really didn't like them at all and I had wished that they had brought out a pair that looked just like this. But as time went on, I really started to like that orange stripe, which I never thought would happen. And now that I finally have this pair in hand, I'm not sure which colorway I like better. Moving up the shoe, you've got your 350 rope laces in the same shade of gray as the base color of the upper. The inside of the shoe is identical to all the other 350 V2s. You've got your suede around the lace eyelets, you've got your 3M stripes on the heel, the padding is exactly the same, the fit is exactly the same. I mean, it's a 350 V2, what do you guys expect? The insole of the shoe comes in light gray with the Adidas and Yeezy written in orange. As I just mentioned, the fit is exactly the same as all the other 350 V2s, so if you've tried any of those, you know exactly what you're getting yourself into with these. For me, the fit is true to size. I have pretty narrow feet though, so some people actually recommend going up half a size, but it really depends on what you like. Moving around to the back of the shoe, you've got your redundant pull tab in gray. I say redundant because the back part right here could also act as a pull tab, but it is what it is. Around the middle of the pull tab, you've got your accent stitching in orange. Moving down the shoe, you get to that signature Yeezy ribbed midsole. This time around, the midsole is in semi translucent gray so you can sort of see through to the boost if you really look for it. One thing I really like about this colorway is that Adidas decided to keep the outsole color and the midsole color exactly the same and the reason that's important is because on the V2s the outsole actually wraps up onto the midsole and whenever they make it a different color it almost looks like a mistake which I really don't like. For example the outsole of the zebras it's got this sort of like weird creamy yellow color that doesn't match with the white midsole of the shoe. I really don't like the way that this looks and I'm glad they decided to go with the same tone on this colorway. Finally moving to the bottom of the shoe you've got more of that semi translucent gray on the outsole with your windows through to the boost. Overall, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Beluga 2.0 colorway is definitely a clean look. I've got to be honest though, it's definitely more of the same when it comes to 350 V2s. There's no construction differences. The colorway is pretty simple and pretty muted, at least for a Yeezy. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I think this is a really clean colorway and I like the shoe a lot, but I'm not excited about it. It's nothing new or nothing innovative. It's just kind of more of the same. If you guys are looking to grab a pair of the Beluga 2.0s, they drop this weekend on adidas.com and a lot of other foot sites. The good news is, is that it looks like there's actually going to be a lot of these available. Just about every store that's ever gotten Yeezys will get a pair of these. I can't speak to stock numbers because honestly I have no idea, but it does look like this is going to be one of the most, if not the most, common Yeezy boost. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look.
Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Beluga 2.0 colorway and if you're planning to grab a pair for yourself. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this and follow me on all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.